How do I replace the solenoid on a SLT-1550 Cub Cadet? Hello and thank you for choosing this service. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I will do my very best to get you the answer you need to your question. How are you today? I can assist you with replacing your solenoid. Yes. The first thing to do is to remove your negative battery cable from your battery. This will prevent a spark as you are working to remove your solenoid. I need to replace the solenoid in a 2006 SLT 1550 Club Cadet Lawn Tractor. I have already taken the old solenoid. I need to know how to put the new one in. Okay, thanks for this information. Are you actually needing to know where each wire goes? Yes. Do you have a diagram you can show or email me or is there a live feed I can watch? Can you give me a minute or two to check to see if I still have an image for you? Yes. Thanks. I will need to format the image I have for you. I will then attach it for you. This will not take very long. Attachment 2014-03-08 underscore 171325 underscore Cub Cadet Solenoid dot PDF full size image. This is an image from my service manual. It may take a minute to download. Let me know if it opens for you. Take a look at figure 39.8. It opened, it's just one page. I only attach the page that shows your solenoid. This shows your cables and wires. The large red cable, without the small wire, goes from your solenoid, to your starter. The large red cable, that has the small red wire, goes from your solenoid to your battery. The remaining small wire, with stripe, attaches to the spade on your solenoid. Make sure that all of your nuts are good and tight, ensuring good connections. Well I have a copy of this conversation sent to my email. If you click on save, before you exit our chat, you will always have access to our conversation. I will attempt to follow these instruction. How long will this session with you last dot will I have to install it and come back and let you know if it work? Or how does this work? You can work with you more and get back with me later. I will receive an alert to notify me when you return to our conversation. Take your time as you are working with your solenoid and everything should work out great for you. If you have problems properly installing your solenoid, after following my instructions, I do have additional services to offer you, if needed. Also there is a green wire with a screw attached to it, where does that wire go? I will check for you. It will only take a minute. Okay, thanks. Your green wire is a ground wire. Is it supposed to be screwed to something? I am checking your wiring diagram. Okay. Do you already have both mounting screws in your solenoid? I have not attached it yet. Do I attach it as one of the mounting screws to the frame? Yes, you are correct. Your green wire attaches to your solenoid mounting screw. Okay. Okay, be right back. No problem. Do you have a diagram showing the solenoid showing how it is attached to the battery frame for this model? Do you have model numbers from under your seat available? Model number 621 to 82013 AC 11 BP 756. 
Series 1500. Thanks. Full size image. Now that the solenoid is attached to the frame, the large red cable without the small wires goes where? This cable goes from your solenoid directly to your battery. I am sorry. That wire goes directly to your starter. The other red cable with the small wire goes to your battery. Does the large red cable without the small wires attach to the terminal side of the solenoid without the spades? Yes, correct. Take another look at your first image I attached. Be right back. No problem. Donald is this session on flat fee of $18. 1. Yes it is. Okay, the green ground wire, it does not matter which mounting screw it is attached to. Be right back. No, as long as it's securely grounded. Okay. Hopefully this works for you. Donald the first have to charge the battery I have not had a chance to test it out. Can I just keep this chat open? Yes, we can keep our chat open as long as you like. Have you finished installing your solenoid? It is installed. Very good. You have been a big help today. Thank you. Hello. How are you today? Good. Replace the solenoid and that did not solve the problem. When I tried to start the lawn mower there was a humming sound. I recorded the sound but I do not know how to attach it. I am away from my computer. I will be back around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I am responding via my cell phone. Try removing your spark plug and see if your engine will spin. Okay, will do. Thanks. I will look forward to working with you at 8.30 tonight. Did you mean just pull the black cap off or completely remove the spark plug? That will be 9.30 EST. Okay. Remove your spark plug. The starter was replaced last year. I removed the spark plugs. I could only hear the starter humming but the engine is not turning over. Is your battery fully charged? Yes. Did you remove your battery to charge it? Yes. Okay. Can I get you to double check your battery cables? Let's make sure that your red cable is connected to your positive battery post and your black cable is connected to your negative battery post. That all good. Do you know how to use a screwdriver to jump across your solenoid posts? Yes. Can you try jumping across your solenoid post to see if your engine will spin? Can't do this now. We'll to do tomorrow. Tomorrow will be fine. Can you take your battery to your local auto parts store and let them test it for you? We need to confirm that your battery is good. Also, double check all of your connections. Make sure you do not have any loose connections. I will do. Thank you. You are very welcome. I will be online around 5 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. 
Good night. Good night to you too. Hello. I am back online. Donald, battery is okay. Dot connections okay. Just to be sure, explain the solenoid cross check. Hello. I think there is an internet problem going on. Hello. We are back online. I am here. Okay, we thought we had a problem with the internet. How are you tonight? The battery is good and the connections are good. I am doing fine, thanks. I can explain how to use a screwdriver to jump your solenoid. The open circuit on the two posts, on your solenoid, that your two large red cables attaches to, can be closed using a screwdriver. If you take your screwdriver and touch both posts at the same time, your 12 volt circuit will connect, and your engine should spin. Be very careful when doing this. Make sure your transmission is in neutral, and your feet are clear of your deck. Lock your brake pedal down. Did as told, same results. Starter spins won't turn flywheel. Okay, thanks for this information. Have you inspected the gear on top of your starter? I am really back to my original problem before I replace the solenoid. When I turn the key it just hum. Your original solenoid may be good. What brand is your engine? It's a Kohler. If your battery is good, and your connections are tight, then it is very likely your starter could be bad. Yeah, that. That's what I'm thinking. May I suggest something to you? Please do. Before you consider purchasing a new starter, remove your existing starter from your engine and get someone to test it for you. Your local auto parts store will check it for you, for free. Will your engine spin, if you use your hands to turn it? I'll do that. The engine will spin if I use my hands. Very good. Your engine is not locked and that is good. If you are getting 12 volts to your starter, and your starter will not engage and spin your engine, then it will very likely need to be replaced. Having it checked, will be our confirmation. I'm going to rate your service excellent. You did solve my solenoid problem. Thank you so much. How do I continue our chat in reference to the starter? Before you exit our chat conversation, click on save. You will always have access to continue this chat. This will also link you back to me, each time you need me. Thanks a lot. I really do appreciate your expertise. I need to sigh off now. It's almost 10 p.m. here in Savannah, Georgia. Got to be up at 2 a.m. Have a good one. You too, and I do hope all goes well for you. Took off the starter, it is the problem. The metal neck that spins the spindle broke in two. Can this be repaired zero or should I replace it? Hello, how are you today? I suggest that you replace it. These starters can be expensive, depending on where you purchase it. If you can get me your model and spec. Numbers, I will check some prices for you. I'm doing great. I understand you guys are in store for some more cold weather. 
Just wish you were here in SAF to get some of our warmth. I am in Texas. It is warm and beautiful here. Just finished mowing my lawn. My bad, I thought I read you were in Michigan. Once I replace this starter I'll be mowing. I'll be back, I'm going to get those hash s. No problem, thanks. Model number 621 to 820 slash 13 AC 11 BP 756, serial number 1K016H10154, 11 2006. Sorry, but those are the numbers from your mower. I will need the numbers off your engine. Try this PS SV730 0011 spec hash 36117026333 serial hash. Thanks. Full size image. Do your starter look like the one at the top of the image? Yes, looks like the top image. Your part hash XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX